What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're showcasing the newest Extreme Z Awakened unit on Global Int Ultimate Gohan at 100% hidden potential. Now honestly, before today, I really thought that he was the worst Dokkan Fest Easy A of the bunch, but I don't really think that was a fair assessment since I never got to test them out myself and I was just going off what a few people on the JP side were saying. So hopefully today after this showcase, we'll get to see exactly how strong this unit is and maybe show him the respect that he deserves. So without further ado, let's do a quick overview of the unit himself before we jump into the actual gameplay. First things first, his stats, I like what I see from those stats, very high attack, super high HP and solid defense as well. So overall, nice stats on this guy. Moving on to his leader skill, in types key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 70%, nothing too crazy. His super attack, burst, rush, extreme, greatly raises his attack and causes immense damage to the enemy. And the way this works is that it stacks infinitely. So for as long as the fight is going, he's gonna increase his attack higher and higher and higher every single time he supers. And essentially he has an infinite attack ceiling, which you guys will see in just a second. His passive is Victor's Fortitude, key plus five, attack plus 80%, and defense plus 40% when key is seven or more, which basically guarantees that he will super every single turn. His links are Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, in Fighter, Shocking Speed, Power Bestowed by God, and Fierce Battle, and he has two categories, Hybrid Saiyans and Majin Buu Saga. Now, here's the thing, he technically has two categories, but in practice, he really only has one because the leader of the Hybrid Saiyans category is Ultimate Gohan as well, STR Ultimate Gohan, right? So he can't be run on the same team as that leader, at least the optimal leader of that team, right? So essentially, your only option most times is Majin Buu Saga, which is what we're doing today. So here's the team we're bringing. Now, I made a conscious decision not to bring LR Vegito because I didn't want him to overshadow our main man, Ultimate Gohan. So this is the team we're bringing. Let's jump right into it. And as you guys saw, we are doing Boss Rush 3 today. Sometimes I like to do just random Dokkan events. Sometimes I like to do Boss Rush. Really depends on how I'm feeling, and I feel like today is a boss rush kind of day. So here we go with the first fight, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So Ultimate Gohan, first rotation right off the bat, I like to see that. Now, as you guys may know, every single time, or like almost like 90% of the time when I try to showcase a unit, they always end up in the last rotation, but today we got lucky, so we're gonna, we're gonna cross our fingers that we continue having that luck. So as you guys see, can see, he only has six key, but as soon as I give him one key, okay, so it doesn't fill up like immediately, but you guys will see. So he's currently not getting a super off, which sucks, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna wait and see what happens. So normal attack? No, no normal attack. You know, like what's going on? So basically he doesn't immediately get the five key from his passive. It activates once the turn is over. So I, like I said, as long as you give him one key, then he will get a super off and he's guaranteed a super every single turn which is fantastic i love that mechanic about him and the damage wasn't bad either so he started off with 1.4 mil but of course that was the first turn that he raised his own attack next turn he's gonna raise it even higher so when he comes back expect to see some higher numbers as well man this team is such a beast like <laughs> people keep asking me in my streams you know tiger what's your what's your favorite category right i'm like it really changes depending on what team i'm using a lot man because Recently, it was full power since I was running full power SJ for Goku a lot, and I really liked that category. But then after that, when the EZA Gohan came out, I was like, well, I'm running Majin Buu Saga a lot now, and I really like this team now. So right now, it's Majin Buu Saga, and I'm sure it will change. Sometimes it's Realm of Gods, sometimes it's Androids, sometimes it's... Well, it's never universe um, representatives universe 7 because I don't have the LR Goku or Frieza, which if you guys have been watching me for a while, you already know I complain about it all the time. So, of course, like half jokingly, half serious. I really want the unit, but I'm not like super upset about it. I wish I had them, but it is what it is. You know, that's life sometimes. So, okay, let's uh, put him back in the first slot. And now we have this Gohan for support. So we have an extra 35% attack. Let's just give him... It doesn't really matter, so we'll give him like these two orbs, he'll have eight key, but either way he'll give himself the full key for that super. And he can take those, here we go, let's see what happens. So he's tanking quite well, 52 damage, 58 damage, 
1.79 mil. So of course it's boosted by the support Gohan, but he also raised his own attack with his um, his super attack mechanic where he greatly raises it every single turn, right? So good numbers, guys. Really, really good numbers. And keep in mind that Vegito, Super Vegito, only provides a 130% attack buff on his leader skill. So imagine Gohan on a category where he can get 150%, 170%, he would be easily hitting for 2 mil at this point. Like right now, he'd be hitting for 2 mil. Okay, um, hmm, not really sure what to do here because I don't necessarily want to get people to super because I want to get Gohan to attack one more time, but I don't think that's possible. I don't know if that's possible. Okay, you know what? Let's hope that Gotenks doesn't do too much damage. We're gonna not let Majin Vegeta super and we're not gonna let Vegeta super. Oh crap, but he's gonna get those counters. Well, hopefully he doesn't crit counter too many times. Because <laughs> I can totally see him crit countering a couple times to Goku and kill him anyways. Which I'm crossing my fingers doesn't happen. Now correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but this was probably one of the easiest easy A's that we've ever gone as far as Dokkan Fest easy A's go, right? And I know a lot of people in my comments were saying that as well. They're like, yo, this is so easy, man. This is the first one I could actually beat because the other ones were actually a challenge. Like the SSJ3 Goku was actually mad hard. Uh, Broly was pretty difficult as well. The Family Kamehameha was a little bit easier, but at the same time, that wasn't a Dokkan Fest. So I guess we couldn't count that. But as far as Dokkan Fest easy A's go, this was definitely one of the easiest ones we've ever gotten. I mean, right now, I'm currently on level 75 of the event, and uh, I, I plan to do another stream in the next couple of days, maybe tomorrow, maybe later today. That really depends on what time I have, right? But I want to do another stream and try to get to level 100 plus, which I've never done for any other EZA except for this one. So as you guys saw, as you guys saw, 1.6 mil, and um, we did have the support Boo, the kid Boo in rotation, but he actually didn't give any buff to him because you have to be, be you have to be above, I believe, 80% HP for his passive to activate. So we didn't get any buff from him there. And 1.6 mil, not bad at all, not bad at all. Let us use. Mm, I don't know. Oh, we're probably just gonna kill him anyways. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, man. I, I'm done trying to to nerf my units. There we go. But yeah, as I was saying, it was it, it's it was really easy. It was really easy getting to level level 30. I didn't even blink an eye, man. I don't even think my HP ever went below 50%. I don't think it ever went below 50% up to level 30. And then of course, when I went beyond that, you know, level 40, level 50, level 60, I did, you know, get a little bit more challenging. It did get a little bit more challenging, but I still didn't really die until I hit, I think, rank or level 65 or 70 or something like that. Somewhere around there. You guys, if you guys watch the streams, you can tell me in the comments down below. But I don't remember dying until somewhere in the mid to high 60s. So overall, super easy, easy. Eh? <laughs> and if you guys are having trouble, then um, maybe if you want to join my Discord, there's a link in the comment section, or not the comment section, the description down below. You can hit that link, join the Discord, and we have a team building channel. So you can maybe post your yeah, maybe post your box there and people can help you build a team that can beat this EZA. But overall it's it's been quite easy. It's really been quite easy. Okay, starting off with 1.4 mil again, unfortunately. I wish the, the buffs would carry over in fights or in stages where there's multiple fights. It'd be really dope if we can just keep stacking over and over again, but unfortunately, the way things currently are, um, you know. We will have to reset every single time, which kind of sucks, which is now making me second guess my decision to do boss rush since these bosses never get super hard, right? So we're never going to be able to stack his uh, super attack that high. But just keep in mind that basically the way he works is that every single turn he comes back, if you're running a Majin Buu Saga team, that he will basically get a 100,000 attack increase to his um, damage multiplier or his uh, attack stat every single turn. So you saw he starts with 1.4 mil, right? So the turn, like the next turn, if Gohan wasn't here, he would have 1.5 mil. And the turn after that, he would have 1.6 mil, 1.7 mil, 1.8 mil, so on and so forth. And like I said, not including support. So right now he should get like 1.8 mil-ish, um, I think. But he normally would be at 1.5 right now. Can we get a crit right so far though? Like we haven't gotten a single crit so far, have we? Can we get a crit right now? Come on, Gohan. Show me some... So we some crit action, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. But yeah, as I said, if you guys want to check that out, 
um, in the next couple of days, I will definitely schedule another stream to do this event, the Int Ultimate Gohan event, and try to get to level 100 plus. And funny thing, actually, in my last stream, D Monty decided to pop in, and that was the first time I think he popped into one of my streams. And he was like, dude, Tiger, I'm challenging you right now. Let's see who can get to level 100 first. And the loser has to do 100 push ups. I'm like, I'm totally down, dude. I'm totally down. Challenge accepted. And it was so funny because there were a few people in my chat that were chirping him. They were like, yo, can D Monty even do 100 push ups? I was like, guys, I, like, I had his back. I was like, dude, guys, like, he works out like all the time. I'm sure he's very fit. I'm sure 100 push ups is no problem for him. <laughs> But I just I, I just thought it was funny, man. But some people were like chirping him in the in the stream, and I was like, don't do that, guys. Yo, yo, Diamante's cool. He's cool. Anyways, um, that is another motivation to get to to level 100 in the event because we gotta beat Diamante at his own challenge, right? We can't we can't accept the challenge and not give it our best effort. So we're gonna do that. And uh, one thing I am working on at the moment is my LR uh, Great Saiyan One and Two because I never touched them before today or like yesterday I think I started the grind yesterday I never touched them right before that I was just like whatever man like why do I need these units I, I they're not they're not that good they're they're decent they're solid supports but I don't really see myself running them that much and then now we have to run Majin Buu Saga and if I want to get high I feel like I kind of have to get if I want to get high <laughs> that's not what I mean that's not what I mean even though it's legal in Canada now I'm not really I don't really partake but Oh man, um, I want to get that Dokkan attack off. Can we get a Dokkan attack off? Can we get a Dokkan attack? Yeah, okay, so we, I, what, what I was trying to say is that we don't want to get a super off this turn because we want to get a Dokkan attack off with, um, oh crap, oh crap. Man, I really want to get a Dokkan attack off with Gohan, but it's not possible. It's not... Screw it. Well, it is what it is. What can you do? Sometimes the orbs just don't work in your favor, so we're gonna have to get a Dokkan attack off with Gotenks. We already know that Gotenks is a beast, so it's not really that exciting, unfortunately. I'm sorry, guys. I failed. I wish I could have gotten the Dokkan attack off with the Gohan. It would have been great for the showcase. It is what it is. Sometimes it just doesn't work out like that. That's, that's how life goes. That's how life goes. Ah, oh, man. Okay, there we go. Let's move on to the next stage, and I feel like we'll do the yeah, we'll do the cooler we'll, we'll do the cooler event next, and then maybe if we have enough time, do another Dogon event. Possibly, I don't really know. It really depends on how the time situation works out. I don't want this video to be too long either. Usually, I like to limit it to 20 minutes at most. Sometimes I go a little bit over, but most of the time I try to stay around that range, right? Okay, let's let's keep him there. This is fine. This is fine. Yo, let's talk about real life things for a second though, guys. Um, <laughs> I was driving, you know, back home to do this showcase, to film this video. And on the way home, it was only like a 10 minute drive. There were so many bad drivers on my way home, man. And like, I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit pissed off. I got a little bit pissed off, because here's the thing. Road rage is, to some people, it's ridiculous. Some people think it's normal, whatever. Like depends on who you are right and whether or not you've actually driven but road rage is a very common thing people get very angry on the road when other people drive badly right and initially I mean back in the day I think maybe a couple years ago if you asked me I'd be like yo why do people rage man it's not that serious like <laughs> someone cuts you off yo, just just you know just brush it off it's not a big deal but recently I've been thinking about this and I'm like no it is a big deal you know what people should be pissed off and should get road rage when people are being stupid on the road and don't obey traffic laws or cut you off or just do dumb things that could be dangerous, right? Because here's the thing, here's the thing. Driving can be very, very risky, right? There, there's a very high potential or there, there is a potential for very great amount of damage or injury, like very, very bad injury in car accidents, right? So when someone drives stupidly, they are putting your safety in, in jeopardy. They're, put, they're putting your safety in danger, and that's why you, you get pissed off, man. Because they're like, "Yo, like, sure, maybe we could just like you know, hit bumpers, and it, it wouldn't be a big deal. Just be like an insurance claim. But what if you know you do something stupid, and we end up getting in a really bad accident, and I have to get hospitalized? Maybe like I'll 
like break some bones or y even worse, like I might die, right? Like there's just so, driving can be really dangerous, especially on the highway if you're going at over 100 miles per hour or whatever, or kilometers per hour, depending on where you're from. Yeah, you know, it's just, you know, there's so much risk involved that like, I think if you put that into perspective, if you think about that, yeah, it's, it's justified that people get super angry sometimes on the road, right? Like, of course, some people take it too far, some people like follow other people or like intentionally cut them off after or like, you know, block them or whatever. Like, I've, I've seen a lot of different things, man. I've, I've seen a lot of people get really crazy on the road when it comes to road rage. But at the same time, like for me personally, I just like kind of, you know, make angry faces and stuff. I don't give people the finger, but I do like make gestures and things like that. I'm just like, what the F are you doing? Like, what do you think you're doing, right? That's kind of my style. Um, we're above 80% HP. We're above 80% HP, so we finally get to see that buff from the Kid Boo. But yeah, just to end off what I was saying, just to, just to tie a bow on that topic, you know, if you, if you think about that, it does make sense, right? Road rage totally makes sense when everything is put into perspective. Um, about like, if you just think about just how dangerous that situation could be. Okay, over 2 million attacks dead. Can we get a critical, please? Oh man, all right, 2.2 million. Oh baby, that was, mm, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, I like that, I like that a lot. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> that was that was Tiger's real life corner for a second there. Um, I didn't mean, it, mean for it to get so real, but at the same time, it is what it is, it is what it is. Okay, let's give him one orb here, we'll give him one orb there. And I'm really crossing my fingers and praying that Gotenks doesn't one shot cooler, which could totally happen, man. If Gotenks get a super off, an additional off, it's done. It's game over, because Gotenks is a monster. So, fingers crossed, one for once, he doesn't, you know, just beast out. Like, just, yeah, just <laughs> do his thing, you know? Ah. <sighs> Oh, last thing I want to talk about before we end off the showcase, last thing I want to talk about is people ask me a lot in my streams like, Yo, Tiger, what what types do you think the new Broly and Gogeta are going to be? And, oh my god, why'd you have the additional this time of all times, man? Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, I was like, yo, so, oh, we have a type disadvantage, though. Anyways, why, why don't we use a Devoro cookie? This is Devoro cookie. There we go. And let's try it another one, because that one was awful. Chain some more. Please. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is... That that did nothing to help me. Let's just see what it can do. Let's just see what it can do. I don't expect too many great things, because we only literally got, like, four orbs that changed. But I'm sure he'll still kill him regardless. Okay, 2.4 mil. 2.4 mil. But let's get... Yeah, getting back to that topic of types oh critical thank you thank you gohan there we go of uh, the new broly and gogeta i honestly think that broly's gonna be int and i think that gogeta's gonna be agl because if you think about it broly was int in the eza that we got the eza event the one we, where there was not a broly drop but the actual boss was broly he was int type right and also there is no agl gogeta in this game we have a tech gogeta super saiyan 4 gogeta we have a physical gogeta lr gogeta we have SDR Gogeta, the OG, and also Int Gogeta, but we do not have an AGL Gogeta. So most likely, Gogeta is going to be AGL, Gogeta Blue, and you know Broly is going to be Int. But that's just my opinion. That's just my reasoning, assessment, things like that. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And of course, also let me know, as this is his showcase, what you guys think of Int Ultimate Gohan. Honestly, I am very impressed. I am very, very impressed, and I got to take back what I thought before about him being the worst Dokkan Fest EZA, because I don't think he is. I really think that with the infinite stacking on his passive, and the fact, or his super attack, and the fact that he has the auto super as well, like he will get, get a super off no matter how much key you give him, it really puts him in the same tier, the same realm as Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Full Power Frieza, for example, and I'm not too sure about the, the newer ones like Kid Buu or Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta or Tech Beerus because I still have to test those guys, but as far as what I have experienced so far, as far as what I've experienced so far, what I've tested out so far, I feel like this new Easy 8 in Ultimate Gohan, new for Global that is, is in the same realm, and he's on the same level as those guys, he is nowhere nowhere close to being the worst easy a or Dokkan Fest easy a and I think it's fantastic man I'm just very very impressed by his utility uh, by his numbers too they're not the craziest numbers but if you think about it for longer events 
he could go up to 3 million plus attacks that easily if you just let him super a couple more times, right? So he's freaking awesome. I love this unit. I'm glad that I rainbowed him. No regrets there whatsoever. But that's it for me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of him and whether or not I can invest orbs into him or also how high, how high I've gone in his um, EZA event as well because I'm kind of curious to see how I rank against you guys but that's gonna do it for today as always if you like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content but that's gonna do it for me i'm out of here hope you guys have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out